and welcome to Allen High School's discussion of acid-base chemistry at the AP and IB level. We're just beginning our unit and we're going to review a couple of things very, very quickly. And this first one is really key because this now is going to differentiate uh, AP from pre-AP and IB from pre-IB. And that's this statement here. This is your primary statement that is going to determine whether or not we have an acidic or basic solution. These are the formulas that you used and we will use extensively. And this is a key one that you may see change. Mostly this is the formula you'll use and you should memorize this. But this is true only at 25 degrees Celsius. So you're going to be given K values that aren't at 25 degrees Celsius. And what you're going to find out is that neutral solutions are not always pH 7. So I know you feel like just shocked your world has rumbled um, by that piece of information. But pH is not always 7. You'll also find out we can have negative pH and positive pH, by the way. So. And that's one point I want to make, and we'll work with these formulas in class much more. And then a quick word on significant figures. I don't think it's the most important thing. I haven't seen questions where AP asks this, but I think IB might, so I like to include it. If we have um, a scientific notation, I'm just going to make a number up, 4.69 times 10 to the minus fourth. So when we do a number like this, these numbers in front are always significant. Those are the numbers that reflect our measurement. The power is all about magnitude. So what about when I take the negative log of this number? Well, this number ends up being, we've done this in class, uh, I hope by now, if you see that negative four, just ignore the negative for a moment, take the four down by one, and this is gonna have a pH of three point something. So that's how those powers relate. Well, that number in front is magnitude, not measurement. So when I calculate this number, I would want to reflect one, two, three digits after the decimal point so that I could maintain my three significant figures. So the power in scientific notation is magnitude, not significant. The number in front of the decimal when you have a pH or a POH, or we're also going to do PKAs and we're gonna do PKBs, and that just means take the negative log of the equilibrium constant uh, we're all of those. The number in front of the decimal is not considered significant. All right, now the next thing I want to do is a very quick review of naming and writing formulas. Now, if you do not know, oops, estimating first, sorry. So before we get into naming, we're going to estimate. So if there are no digits here after the pH, this is a one in front. And that's one times 10 to the minus two. So those numbers directly relate. So in this case, I have one times 10 to the minus three. So that number, when there's zeros afterwards, goes directly to that power. Now, when there are numbers that follow, one times 10 to the my, or excuse me, not necessarily one, some number times 10, now, since this is a two, they differ by one. This must be a three. This is a two, so whatever this number is, is it's 10 to the minus three. So if your power is three, your pH is two point something, with that one exception there. All right, now, I also want you to remember that as you increase your H+, plus, you decrease your pH, so the smaller this number is, the bigger this number in front is. In fact, this is 5.6 and this is 1.8. 
you would not have to know those exactly, but relatively you should be able to get from the number in front to the exponent in the scientific notation, and you should be able to compare two values that the higher pH is going to have the smaller H plus. All right, so hopefully you took some notes in these estimating guidelines, and we can go over that in class next time I see you. All right, now on to naming and formula writing. Now, uh, the cation in an acid is always an H plus. So for our formula, we always know what the cation is. The difficulty is finding the anion. And a student many, many years ago made up this phrase, I ate something icky, all night I was nauseous, because I took a ride, we, we worked on that part together, in a hydraulic plane. Okay, it's a little lame, but it works. So the key is, if it, the polyatomic ends in eight, the acid would be ick. Whether it's per eight or a simple eight, we change to ick. Eight goes to us, whether it's a regular eight or a hypoite. And then the only time you see ick is for the ides. Your ides are going to be single element anions, chloride, sulfide, phosphide with one exception, and it's still named by the rules, so it's, you know, it still fits the hydraulic plane, but that is cyanide, okay? So let's look. Permanganic, it came from eight. Permanganate, if you don't know your polyatomic ions, you are <laughs> out of luck. Okay, that's permanganate. There's one negative charge, so I need one negative, I need one H plus to balance that out. Sulfuric acid. Ick again came from eight. Whether there's a per in front or not, eight and ick go together. Sulfate is SO42 minus. Since there's two negatives, I now need two H pluses. So we would call this a diprotic acid because it has two protons. Us and it go together. Nitrite is NO2 negative one. And you can search YouTube or ask me for the link. I made a video reviewing our polyatomic ions. So I can give you that link. Hypo us would be hypoite. So io, hypoiodite is I O minus. Now, I just wanna give you a heads up with this little group of oxy uh, acids. It's quite common to flip that around as H O I instead. And the reason is, is because the hydrogen is bonded to the oxygen, not the iodine. Um, so you wanna be a little careful with that. I know typical, you would put the, the, you know, the lesser electronegative one in the middle, unless it was hydrogen. In the, you know, so you'll see both. So you just have, need to be aware of that. HOI and HIO are the same thing. All right, and then hydroic came from ide. That is a binary acid. That means only two elements, cation H plus, anion Br. Okay, I know that was fast. You've done this before, and there will be more time to practice. So until then, this is, as always, signing off.